ever playing Bloxburg and you think to yourself, hmm, I know everything there is about this game. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. Here are 15 things you probably didn't know were in Bloxburg. And if you know all 15 of these, well, then you're, you're lying. I don't believe you. Also, who is at my house? How did you, why is my door wide open? Hello? I need to start hiring security guards to follow me around in Bloxburg. Also, I thought it would be funny in today's video if I name off every one of these like a top 10 video. Number one. <laughs> I belong in 2018. Anyway, but no, seriously, number one, you get rewarded for accurately reporting Bloxburg plots. Let me explain. How do I get out of my house? Oh, hey guys. <laughs> Let's pretend Zoe over here is building something highly inappropriate. Editor, blur this out. This is too much for little nine-year-old eyes. And let's hypothetically say I reported her house. If the Bloxburg devs actually thought her house was inappropriate, I could get a hundred blocks bucks from that. I could make a living out of this. <laughs> I could go around being a police officer, reporting people's plots, and getting money from it. Or even better, I could make alt accounts, build inappropriate things on those plots, report those plots on my main account, get a hundred blocks bucks each time, and boom, it's like printing money. Number two, pressing Q while riding a bike makes a little ding sound. <laughs> I personally never play Roblox with any sound anymore, but for you guys, I'll turn up my volume. It makes a little noise. Now I can annoy everybody. Ding, ding. Someone's hogging back at me. Oh my gosh, they actually play with Bloxburg volume up. I'm actually curious, if you play Bloxburg with noise, comment down below because I never do anymore. Mostly because I don't want to hear the annoying. Da, 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 da. Okay, guys, stop honking on me. This is why I don't play Bloxburg with volume. <laughs> Number three, stop and smell the roses. Here we have a cute little bouquet. I wonder who gave this to me? Myself, because I'm the only one that loves me. Sorry, that got really personal. If I press use, I can smell the roses. It kind of looks like I'm dabbing. <laughs> But look how cute that is. I'm like, wow, that's so yummy smelling. This is your reminder to stop and smell the roses. Number four, talking to an NPC as a little toddler will make it in a babble. Like, let me just show you, actually. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Why do I shake my little booty like that? Okay, Annie, this is a toddler. Don't be talking about a toddler like that. Can I not talk to these NPCs? So boring NPCs. I'm getting trampled on. Guys, guys, chill. That's hurting my head. Okay, if I talk to this NPC, everything's in little Goo Goo Gaga. I can totally relate to that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Susan is a really good customer service. She knows how to deal with all type of customers, even little toddlers. Goo goo gaga. Number five, if you are too young in Bloxburg, you cannot use some of the items in your inventory. <laughs> Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Never mind. A child can just pick up a chainsaw. <laughs> oh my god, maybe I was lied to. I think someone told me this, but obviously it's not accurate. Oh wait, okay, I am right. <laughs> You're too young to use this gas, but you're not too young to use a chainsaw and chop off someone's head. What is the logic behind that? I'm so confused. Number six, you can make it golden hour by setting the time to five and making it all foggy outside. Let me show you. If you own a neighborhood, you can change the time to five o'clock, set the weather to fog, and boom, it's golden hour. Da -da -da. You just got caught down bad in 4K. I actually learned this from a TikTok hack, so I'm not even original. I outright stole this from TikTok. Guys, we're essentially glowing, don't you think? Oh my gosh, your skin looks so good, guys. This looks like a really weird ritual, actually. Why are they all circling a little baby with a chainsaw? <laughs> wow, look at those streaks of light. So pretty. Number seven, you can cheat the system and make your free cam blurred. If I press something that will pop up the GUI like this, permissions and family, and then press shift P and go to free cam, everything is blurry. <laughs> there goes my 2020 vision. I think I'm gonna have to get glasses. Guys, seriously, uh, life is starting to get blurry in real life. I'm a little worried. If in my next video I'm wearing glasses, don't be surprised. I just think this is kind of cool. Like, like, I keep saying like. What am I, I spice? <laughs> Number eight, if you're too tired, you cannot work out or do any exercises. Hold on, I can't prove this to you guys yet because I'm not too tired. Now I have to run around in my backyard. <laughs> my fans must think I'm absolutely insane. <laughs> whoa, whoa. They join me and I don't say anything in chat. Like I just film my video and live my life and they all follow me around. And they must be really confused while I run around my backyard and I just start doing push-ups. <laughs> Hey, at least they support me. They're clapping their hands for me, so they must love me. What type of weird cult is going on back here, man? What is this? Why are we working out? <laughs>
So like, when do we stop? My legs hurt. Now she's gonna have a working out channel. <laughs> Actually guys, yeah, I'm pivoting my Bloxburg videos to just strictly jumping jacks and push-ups. Drop and give me five right now. <laughs> oh my God, I finally did it. I'm finally too tired and I can no longer do any exercises. So if you get down to 10% energy, you can no longer work out. Number nine, there's now stamina in Bloxburg. If you're running at the top of your screen, there's a bar that slowly decays over time. This is now your stamina bar. And if you run out, you go back to walking and you have to wait for your stamina to go back up. A lot of video games have this, so I'm honestly surprised that Bloxburg added it, but it's kind of fun. This might be well known, but I didn't know this till like two weeks ago. So. I found it out because I was trying to run away from my fans and then I ran out of stamina and I got bombarded and stepped on. <laughs> Number 10, you can favorite items by double clicking them. If you go into your backpack and double click on one of the items or the emotes, you can actually heart them and they'll show up in your favorite section. I don't know why a power drill is in my favorite section, but short term my memory lost, you know? <laughs> I'm going blind and I'm losing my memory. You can also drag and click emotes and items into this little slot right here. So if I wanted to put a bunch of weapons per se in my slots, I could just, you know, this is for no reason whatsoever. I'm definitely not planning to murder anybody with this stuff. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Number 11, Bloxburg magazines actually have words in them. When you have the Bloxburg magazine and you press use, there's actually full on words. Norm is um dolor sleet er et. I never said it was like real words, but it does say Blox news and it has like the little icons on the front page. I don't know what this little icon right here in orange is supposed to be, but. Also, hello. Wait, this is kind of a fun point of view. Oh my gosh, who are you? Where did you guys show up in here? <laughs> I swear I locked the door. Number 12, solar panels can actually get dirty. I've never experienced this for myself, but here's a photo of what it looks like if your solar panels get dirty, and then you have to clean them. Fun fact. <laughs> Number 13, you can block people or invite them to family from far away. Let's say my friend over here, Buddy, was across the map, but I wanted to invite her to my family. I just go to permissions and family and then press the three little dots and then you can invite them to family, report their house, or even block them. You wanna be part of my family now, Buddy? <laughs> Number 14, if you take away someone's permissions from your house, it actually gives them a notification. Essentially, you get exposed. <laughs> Did someone give me perms and take them away? I'm using my fans as help for this video. Also, I love you. She's wearing my UGC item. Look at her go. Oh my gosh, she's wearing two of my UGC items. Link down below in the description. Oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> Here's a prime example. It says your permission at Mistletoe's house was removed. Essentially, I was abandoned. So now I have abandonment issues from Mistletoe. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Last but not least, number 15, you can buy more plot data if you build way too much. Personally, I've never run into this problem because I'm basic and I've never hit the max plot data before. <laughs> but if you're actually a good builder and you need to buy more plot data, it is an option. Here's the photo of what it looks like because <laughs> I've never seen this for myself. I'm not that good of a player to see this for myself. That is gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Let me know which of these facts you already knew and which ones were brand new. Oh my God, that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you learned something new. If you'd like to learn even more things you didn't know about Bloxburg, I've done this video like six times before. So the link to the playlist will be down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more and I will see you all later. Bye my beautiful bubbles.